Welcome in, everybody. It's back to Goblets and World Lots, episode three of the Black Order. Uh, we had to cancel last week. We had too many people out. We had two people out, and this week we have one person out. It would be Larice. Uh, has some stuff going on at their place, so they're not able to get on. We almost, you know, had a oopsie here with one of our cast members, but we almost didn't make it here. But we 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 managed. We're here, and uh, this will be the last official like gameplay or whatever until I get to California and finish setting up. So, uh, cause this week I start my move. I start packing up stuff and stuff is happening. So, uh, so if you're watching on you, since this is a pretty much a YouTube exclusive, uh, as you can see there, the stretch goals are there for where currently four Oh seven. The last I checked for subscribers. So we're heading up on the next tier. Um, as as always as many likes as this gets on youtube uh so like last the last one got up to six lights so everybody gets a d6 i've already added to your google or your twitch rewards and uh so if you like this video now this will be added on and you got a whole six months to gather all of it up for our next recording so not really six months but until june so with that being said, I'll turn it over to our other fellow streamer, uh, Nerd Holla. Hi, I'm Nerd Holla. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Nerd Holla or on Instagram at Nerd Holla Designs. I stream uh, mostly during the day, during the week. Uh, I paint minis and run Dungeons and Dragons. Sweet. And uh, Dan, when is your next TikTok coming up if you haven't already done it? uh soon uh i just got done with a red ronin helmet uh and i'm gonna be working on a whole bunch of other commissions like today i got commissioned for a marvin the martian uh guy wants to get like the helmet for his girlfriend so i'm gonna be starting that up here once we get done with this session um so yeah pretty soon sweet with that being said uh like i said Please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this uh, this video is, and grab your goblet, sit back, and relax, and enjoy the show. slides were muted the whole time so it didn't catch any of that sad ah! doing the recap <laughs> ah! alright the recap is uh, y'all went to find some maps from the thing uh, you didn't find any maps you found a second map then you ran to scope out map. the place 
Uh, the guards are left uh, and found the skeleton crew. You attacked and killed all the guards. There's one of the archers that uh, apparently knew Zanari and went to left with Zanari. And uh, we're picking up there. Uh, Zanari, you want to do it again? Sure. <laughs> I'll follow the guard out of the gate. I will, as soon as we're out of sight of the others, I will grab his arm and stop him. All right, you know what to do. Hand him 70 gold. Handle the business. I'm going to finish this job here. If that's not enough, just come find me again. Oh, scholarly, ma'am. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we'll make sure I put the good use in on our other locations. Uh, I know uh, quite a few can get some use out of this. And um, uh, you take care, and uh, we all pull in for you, okay? And uh, I see you got a new crew. Um, you know, spend their efforts out if you don't mind. I and he kisses your that. hand, and he kind of bows and turns off and into the shadows. And I pause for a moment, just take a deep breath, and then right back into the gate. Um, and if I may, I believe I threw a dagger um, during battle combat. Can I go see if I can find it? I did not hit anything <laughs> with it, but I would like to go find it. Did you throw it up at the balcony or anybody down below? Down below, somebody right inside the gate. Roll me investigation check. <laughs> do you have dark vision? I believe Actually, no, I do. there's there's some lanterns there, so there's a little bit of light, so you don't need them. That is a 14. 14. Easily enough, you kind of see it. It kind of slid up under like this potted plant or something out front, and you're able to grab it. Uh, as everybody else in the balcony kind of like couples like a minute or so later as y'all discussing what y'all wanted to do you see Sonari walk back in what y'all do I'm back weren't you off doing princess shit oh, what did you um, do no I, I just dropped you on the balcony and left you don't remember that big guy uh no, I, I I lost a lot of blood. Um, but thank you. Thank you for uh, the healing and the help. Um, did we get them all? All the ones out here, anyway. Welcome back, Z. Well, we gonna go do this? We're assuming the tw twins are inside, right? So oh. I would, I would assume, yes. All right then. I turn around and kick down the door. I seem to recall there was like a double door or something leading onto the balcony. I guess we're not sneaking. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what is the marching order? Me first, I guess. I'm with I'm with Sherelle. Right as soon as I see that impressive display of bravery, I'm following her. I'll be I'll be in the middle. Lurie should be somewhere. She'd be yeah, right behind her. Then uh, I guess Watt and Zanari falling up the end. Yeah. All right. As the camera pans over and just kind of like the intro of you know. Avengers of Ultron as they kind of we'll see a smash cut of each person as Cheryl kicks down the door and starts moving on the balcony of this uh, internal uh, massive mansion here as she comes in as a guard comes out the door she punches the person jaw kind of breaks yeah. off as Tuna takes his axe and slices another guard and then follow behind Rodan just coming over to behind to knock fires a crossbow shot at another one across the balcony away as Watt and Zanari and Larissa is catching spells slinging them as you quickly move through this mansion you find in the back one of the twins the male black hair what in God's name is going on in here? And that's a real just 
While punches he's saying over. that, I want to yep punch, punch him. him in the face. <laughs> punch him in the face, and he falls back. Oh, on the ground, scampering back. What's what? What's going on in here? How? Ah. You done fucked up, boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're you're a fuck boy. <laughs> How you like that? Not, not the meaning I was intending, but it works. So I'll, I'll, yep. As he says that, I just kind of slap my forehead. I like this one. He's funny. I want to put my foot on his chest and like push enough that it hurts, but not enough that I break anything yet. And say, so where's your pretty sister? Uh, and I will cast detect thoughts. So that means I need to pull a card. And I will leave. It is not a God, curse. So given right to just look. Are you that tell us you just want surface thoughts, or you're trying to pry deeper? I'm gonna pry deeper. So wisdom, uh, fifteen. Meanwhile, wisdom, I'm just like grinding so my foot into his chest. <laughs> look at a twelve. So he fails as you push deeper in. Watch you. In his mind, he's thinking about, like, oh, God, I hope she doesn't come down, because this is bad. And if I get my hands on those, I'm going to kill him myself. And then uh, and it's like a lot of shit's running through his head right now, because in this little drow, half drow. Yeah, yeah, half elf, yeah. No, this is what he's thinking in his head. Oh, yep. From, this is for what? God damn, she's strong. Where's my fucking... They just mow through my cards. What the hell? That's what you get, Watt. Okay. I, I, I point to the others. I think she's upstairs. What? How do you... How do you... No! Don't, don't do... It. What do you want? I'll do anything. What, 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 what do you want? You want I kind gold? of stomp on his chest to shut him up. And without <laughs> taking my eyes off him... Do we want to make this a family reunion, or we want to do one at a time? I say to the others. Well, one we at a time is easier than, than both at once. I think we take cool. her by surprise. Take him out now. Please stop. Remember, we're what not do... killing them. We're only killing the gods. Uh, damn. That being said, non-lethal, I want to kick him across the face, trying to break his jaw. Roll some damage. And this is just um, to see if he goes knocked out. Right, damage. Uh, one on the die. Five. Five. <clears throat> Blood splits out. <sighs> what do you what? We got a message from our boss. Who the fuck is that? That's Gasha. What the fuck is Black that? Black Order sends their regards. Saskasha says to back off. Send your regards is our motto. The twins send their regards is our motto. Well, it's our... It's, it's, it's ours, ours now. now. I don't remember signing over Lisa terms to that. Why, why are you here? What do we do to you? Over, signing over rights for you to do your thing in our part of town. We had no beef with we have no beef with the Black Order. What do you mean? We didn't do anything to you. You've been encroaching on our That's territory. Awesome. Is that plain enough for you to understand? We done nothing of the such. You're in this town, doing dirty things in this town. Yeah. This ain't your town. This is the Black Order's town. Give me an intimidation check. Yeah. With the advantage, oh, of Oh no! Course. With the advantage, yay! You did punch him. In oh his... no! <laughs> <laughs> That's a seven and a five. <laughs> oh no! He got a natural nineteen, so he's going to spit the blood that you just spit out right in your face. <laughs> you oh, know, right. fucking Enough of this! Down. And I'm going to come over with my crossbow and I'm going to butt stock hit him right up on the forehead and try to knock him out. Roll me an unarmed strike. Of course, you could do that with advantage also. Should have said that, but... No. Seven. Is that with advantage? <laughs> yes, with advantage. 
we're rolling so well tonight. This is because I fumbled my bloody ice. Oh, no, no, that was wasn't with their my... advantage. That was a flat. Sorry. That was a flat. Oh, my God. Not even that much better. Ten. Well, ten actually hits because he's not wearing the armor. And just roll your damage. What's your damage for your unarmed strike? Two. But I did hit him in the face, but didn't do damage before. So maybe I can do some damage from that? Hey, you roll yours? Yeah. Because he's, he's looking pretty fucked up after that one. Seven. Are you established? All right. How, describe your non-lethal blow because this will knock him out. Um, I'll let Raladan do it because we're assuming that's the first punch in the face that took him to the floor. And then I kicked him in the face and then Raladan did this. Well, your first your first damage was your punch. You just kicked him to the floor. He wouldn't didn't take it any damage yet until you punched him. Raladan just punched him, tarred him down to two hit points, and you just punched him again for another seven. So describe how you're knocking him out. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's just spit the blood in my face, and Raladan's whacked him in response. I backhand him. Whoppa! <laughs> he is completely not the fuck out. Cool. Big guy. Would you mind carrying him up? I scoop him up in my arms and throw him over my shoulder. <laughs> okay. Shall we? Shall we? So you think he's up? Uh, she's upstairs? He said she better not come down, so I assume that's what the inverse would mean she's upstairs. Okay, let's go. As you head upstairs? I mean, you're already up Oh well, yeah, I guess y'all went downstairs. Yeah, I montaged it. So you went up, go back upstairs. There's a bunch of rooms. Um, you don't know which room. So I guess we'll just say you busting down each door, and you get to one door that's locked, and just, go away. You're busting it down, or you're trying to shove it open. Which one are you trying to do? Bust it down. Uh, that okay. was a four on the die plus six, which is ten. I mean, oh, yeah, it's God. just a door. Roll your damage. <laughs> it's more of a, make sure you didn't so hit the badly. door frame. Eight damage. Uh, you don't bust it completely open, but you get a nice little hole. You probably feel another break or bust. Naira, we're here for you. And I just pop Eddie down. I says, we have Eddie. I shove his face into the hole. So, uh, I guess y'all not here for the orgy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is he dead? Not uh, yet. I don't know, is he? You hit him pretty hard. Hit him pretty hard, but with the intention of keeping him alive, because we got a message for you, too. <laughs> Why are you here? Why did you do this? What did we do to you? It's what you did to the order, sister. You're we encroaching on the You're encroaching on the Black Order's turf. We've been sent to teach you a lesson. What turf? The Black Order, ain't you listening? I had that part, but what turf? Our turf. Do we bust down your building or something? So what so what do we do? Why? Why are you here? Why do you murder our gods? Why? Why do you have my brother like that? Like I said, it's. Go ahead. Sorry, go. Do you remember a little group called the Order of the Goblet? Well, they interfere. You sent them Ooh. to interfere with the carriage. Do you remember trying to heist a carriage? Oh, the slaves that we bought to do to rob the family across the web wheels. Yes, well, I was there. So that you was us the web you wells. fucked with. Once upon a time. So, if in a manner you, of speaking, I'm so confused because we were robbing the web wheels. How did it become noted the the Black Order? I am. So, what? Are you sure you connection, set the right connection line? I'm not very smart, but even I get that. 
the web wells work for the black water you fucked with the black wells whatever the fuck they're called you mess with the black water and we're telling you to back the fuck up and not fuck with the black water so did you kill our people yeah except not this guy he's uh you know you can still do your no. thing just don't fuck with us I was referring to the people that we sent after the cuts. Did y'all kill them? No. Well, maybe a few. All you have to do is beat a five. Actually, no. Got a 14. Four. That is a seven. Got a seven. 14. Nah, so that's why they didn't come back. What the fuck happened? That's for you to figure out. Just, we've sent the message, although technically I do still have to fuck you up. Just just to get the message real across, you know? Okay, can you just fuck me instead of fucking me up? Mm, I don't no. think that was the right, yeah. I mean, I would. You're, you're sexy, but like, not in this circumstance, you know? It's business. So, uh, I'm just gonna back up a little face. bit and try to kick down the door again. All right, roll an advantage because it's already like damaged enough. Okay, can you just please leave the face. Uh, twenty-four to hit the door. For five damage. And it comes slinging open. What else? I stroll in. Is she like backing up or anything? Yeah, she she's pleading. Please leave the face, the money maker. I mean, I did the honors last time. Raladan, do you want to have some more fun? Tunak? What? Zanari? Uh, I mean, I'm all wait. for hitting people. I go, you behind, want... I just go ahead. Let's stalk her right on the back of the head. Draw an attack. 22. Oof. And she says, please not the fish. She turns her head and boom, you hit her right in the back. Roll your damage. Is that two again? Yep. Con check. Uh, that's a natural three. Uh, as she tries to struggle to stay conscious, she just falls on the bed. You made that real quick. It's what I do. Wait. I mean, when what? I said for other people to have a <laughs> turn, I meant to have, like, some fun. But you, that's that's your thing. That's fine. Hey, big guy. You got room for another? Like, carry both of them? <laughs> Where are we yeah. taking them? Sure. Back to the boss, I assume. And we just need to fuck them up so they get the message? Well, if we want to send a real message, we put them somewhere public. Oh, I do like that. Guys, I had this great inspiration from my god. <laughs> okay. We get them butt naked. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I like it too, not. Keep going. Then... I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so par. And then I just look around the room. Is it is it a nice looking room? This is a nice yeah. fucking mansion. Besides the door you just broke off the hinges pretty much. Oh, we're definitely looting the house. I was going to say, I think the boss lady would like it if we brought her some nice things. You always bring the chief the greatest spoils when you go and pillage. That is a good way to keep them happy. So as Stop. I'm carrying fuckboy over here, I am looking for really things that I think are fancy, that are gl that are shiny, and look like they might be worth money. I'll start, like, <laughs> opening boxes and stuff, looking for jewelry. I'm going to look for makeup and start decorating their faces. <laughs> wait, wait, you're just going to jigglypuff them? <laughs> what? Well, I, uh, I only have you roll for it because this is her room. There is a vanity there full of makeup and stuff where she dolls herself up. Uh, Cheryl, um, keep in mind, you're not a rogue in this campaign. Oh, I but know. Go, I, I was on. raised on the streets, though. I'm not a rogue, but I, I am proficient with jeweler's tools. So I know a pretty thing when I see it. I'm going to start with uh, drawers. Drawers. 
To save time from looting this mansion, tempted to make some stuff uh, trapped because they would, but I don't want to kill y'all either, so. Hey, I'm, I've been healed. I'm good. <laughs> and you know uh, I'm always fine with dying. <laughs> uh, equivalent to 300 gold you find looting the different places and stuff. And you also find between arts, gems, uh, $880 worth of art, gems. But what is how this you dollar? carrying all this? A dollar coin, gold <laughs> coins. Uh, art doesn't 880 change. coins between art, pictures, uh, silverware. But how are you carrying all this stuff? I don't know. We don't have a bag of holding in this campaign, do we? We do not. At least nope. I don't. But no. I have a backpack. Uh, I can probably take, like, two paintings under each arm and put a bunch of stuff in my backpack. I just put shiny stuff. I, I forget art. That's... How about That's this? We'll make it. We'll make it easy. They have a cart and their personal cart and horse. We can take uh, that. Cool. Um, it's more of a buggy, so it won't quite hold like a mansion full of shit. But I can say the choice can... pieces. The choice pieces. What uh, kind of horse is it? Uh, the Clydesdale ones. Oh, oh cool. fancy horse. Yeah, yeah. A, I would yeah. more be looking through like her clothes and her makeup and just take what looks fancy and nice and take that with me. <laughs> uh, I'm you all could. about. She definitely has the finest the clothes and finest dresses and linens there is. All right, I'm gonna find oh, anything yeah. that's like because uh, <laughs> I can be whatever size I want, I was about to ask. shape I want. I started asking. I was like, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, doesn't matter if it fits, I can make it fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. She, she definitely has a dress for each day of the week. Gather up what I can fit. All right. Stuff it in my bag. I'm carrying both of them. Uh, where are we putting them? Here. How how easy is it to get to the roof? The roof? Or just up on the balcony. You can just set them out on the balcony. Are there any lamp posts on the balcony? No, but there's a lamp. There's a light. There are lamps for the roundabout, if you remember. And we them up, you can also kind of hang downwards. Make you it. the bodies out front already, right? You got the weapons and stuff that for, they were I carrying, feel like right? someone did. Yeah, I think so. Before we went oh, in. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't. I We cut it hmm. right for you. I did the looting because we cut it right when Zanari left. So if you want to go out and if you want to loot some of the bodies, you can. Yeah, while they're stringing them up, I'll go around and collect what they have. Um, by the way, 300 gold split between six is 50 gold each, so we can put those in our personals. Okay. Um, Ooh, thank you. You find standard short swords, uh, some small crossbows. Uh, the archer, though, they had some fancy bracers on their uh, forearms, if they kind of they look, they look very nice. Oh, I'll take pretty. Those. Kill the archer again? No, it's the same. It was the archer. I don't think y'all looted him. No, yeah, I, I'm just wondering who who actually killed him. Any fancy looking crossbows? I think the other archer killed him. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I kicked someone off of the roof. Uh, a couple of the, the ones inside the building had... Uh, uh, heavy crossbows. The standard size. Well, I don't think... Is that considered a simple weapon? Nope. nope. Okay, then no, I can't use that. Uh, you... Uh, uh, I'll say there was like one or two after looting the place, there's a couple hand crossbows. No, I'm good. I'm good uh, you my do crossbow. find... Uh, for them uh he had it did have a uh a sword that seemed to be magical a short sword mm. and he had a nice fine set of plate armor actually not it's not full plate is a type of plate, plate armor uh it's like more half of a plate. Dress. 
breastplate. Breastplate. A okay. breastplate. Okay. Well. Anything on her? You took all her fine linings. <laughs> Just loaded it up into this, in this Clydesdale buggy that we've got yep, now. Into the buggy. <laughs> I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you doing to bodies? Every now and then I get distracted. I just kind of drop them where they are. And Leave them I, on the like, front steps. Stuff, and then I pick them up. Are we talking about the dead bodies or are you talking about the bodies of the two that are knocked out? The twins. The twins. Okay. <clears throat> We're just stringing them up naked and then just letting them hang down. From the balcony. Mm -hmm. All right. Like by their Easy arms enough. and stuff, though. Not, not by their neck. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Not that way. Uh, I imagine the rope under their... Uh, armpits and tied off and so or they could just be like hanging like so right that they can't they can't cover themselves <laughs> that way why do i give ideas as god had <laughs> deemed it the gods speak to us this is their will we do have Good to job, retcon. Steve. We do have to retcon something from uh, Dan's character that he did last episode, where he said the blessing of the Raven Queen is actually the blessing of the unseen. I am gonna go to the guard that I happened to kill. I remember he was like up front. And I'm just gonna take his hand with me. Easy enough. Very dark urge. Love it. Yeah. I listen. We have to bring offerings to my god of anyone that I have had the honor of sending him as their... What did the priest say? As a offering. We send their souls to him to feast on. Would Maybe. you want, like, more hands then, or just that one? No, it's, it has to be from me. Oh. But you, if you were... If you were to follow this great god, then yes, you could bring the hands that you were, or the, the, the jaw, I think, you kicked off. That, that. Oh, yeah, impressive. no, I'm, I'm good without gods and stuff. You, you do that. Bozak is a mighty god. Good He's for not you. not very forgiving. He's more of a kill. Yeah. Yeah, you keep that kill god for you. That's fine. Okay. I just, like, stick it in my belt. There's a hand sticking out like that. <laughs> as I'm hopping load stuff into the buggy. <laughs> <laughs> as I hop load stuff into the buggy, I go, Hey, big guy, can you ha give us a hand over here? <laughs> And I help them lift and continue to stack things into the buggy. This is a nice horse. Anybody good at naming stuff? I hate naming stuff. We need to give him a name. For the horse. What color is the horse? Yeah. Uh, it's a black Clyde <laughs> still with a deep black mane. Nightmare. Oh. Well, I like that. I, I like that. I love you, Nightmare. And I sort of <laughs> gently... <laughs> Gingerly. Oh, that, was, that, that, was was that was just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I liked it. I'll, was that good? good? Was that not good? I'm good. I'm, I, I, liked I, I liked it. it. I liked Better it. Better than what I could do. <laughs> I was. Yeah. No, I'm down with it. All right. So we're. Okay. Let's go report in with all, all right. our stuff. Uh, bring him back down to the headquarters easy enough. we we'll go see back in the great hall. Yeah, see if the boss lady's in. Sure enough. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it is the middle of the night, so you did decide to go do this in the middle of the night. She's probably asleep. Well, is there considering like, none uh, of this is going to move, do we all want to just get some rest as well? well do, do we have, like, a requisitions officer person that we can sell this stuff to? Like, uh, what's it called? Criminal fence. Uh, I mean, you can just exactly, exactly what you say. You can park it out front and pretty much Toss the, not, not the key, uh, sorry to say keys. Toss the reins. Uh -uh, I'm keeping the clothes. I mean, if you turn in like all the the gems and the 
uh, arts and stuff like that, and so it'll let you keep the gold. So easy enough. It's almost kind of like it's almost like what Tunat says. Almost kind of like clean what you kill type deal, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but the art and stuff. You oh, can I kill turn this. In, <laughs> turn into the um, order. Um, but uh, the boss lady shoes currently asleep. So. All right, I say turn in for the night. How much gold was it that we were adding to our inventory? 50. We may get Larice? more in our cut. Are you hmm? cutting Larissa into that? Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll get higher pay because we gave them 880 gold worth of goods. Oh, I did hold on to the fancy braces and the magic sword. Mm -hmm. I did not turn those in. Did someone grab the chest arm chest plate? Yes. Do you want that? Mm, it's sure. a breastplate. It's a breastplate. I don't know if sure. you can wear it as a robe. Yeah, it counts as armor. You would get your uh, unarmored defense. No, no, no. That You're talking about Tuna, but uh, he's a rogue. Oh, I'm a rogue. I don't, I don't know if he can wear it. Me too. I, it, mm. I don't think so. I think you're just light. I'm good without it. I still want to be able to be stealthy. But if you want to sit down and then uh, look at these items, just let me know. Yeah, by, when we, a, sorry, when we go to rest, I will take a look at these fancy braces I found on an archer and uh, the magic short sword I found on the twin brother. Give me an arcana check for both. Unless you have identify. Oh, reneg one. <laughs> Does anyone want to help me? Hey guys, I found these I'll fancy help. things. Do you want to do the Arcana check? Yeah, I've got... Any? How about this? Anybody that is proficient in Arcana can help you. Or do it themselves. Does that mean I get advantage? I'll help them by being like, wow, that's a weird symbol there. What does it mean? Not better. <laughs> so that's a 12. <laughs> do I know what any of these are? Uh, well, you can easily... You, can't, you don't know what the braces are at all. But you do know... You've seen the other ones are pretty common. They're called plus one short swords. Okay. Or long swords. Did I say short sword? What did I you say? You said short sword. You said short, short sword. sword. Okay. So it's a okay. plus one short sword. And Sonari, uh, you looking at the bracers. The bracers are bracers of archery. Um, the bracers of archery gives anybody a proficiencies with longbows. It it gives a uh, plus one to attacks and uh, damage. Anybody want these? I sort of got my own guns going. I guess I could take the short sword. Couldn't hurt to have something a little more more stabby. Typically, those are for long bows. I've got a crossbow. No, it yeah, gives you proficiency with the longbow. You just have to, like, buy a longbow. You attuned to uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take those. There you go. So you can add bracers of archery to your inventory. It's a magical item. You have to attune to it. And what has a plus one short sword? Uh, the half plate is just half plate. It's just standard half plate. But it looks very nice. Like It's, it's, like it's almost like more for show. It's never, been, it's never seen a lick of combat. Shiny. Mm. Stick them with the stabby end. <laughs> it's pointy end. Uh, Larice could probably wear it. She, yeah, I'll uh, hold on to it for her, see if she wants it. What? She, just to clarify, she, was it breastplate or half plate? Breastplate. 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 Okay, yep. Uh, sh uh, she can wear uh, medium armor. For that stuff, those are the main things you got off from there that was really anything of other than the fancy stuff that the order will take in and auction off for Matt. I say we turn in for the night. Sounds like a plan. Indeed. All right, everybody has their own rooms. If you would like to, you've been given your own rooms. But if you want to bump Short rest. somebody. Huh? I'm going to take a short rest. Long, long rest, rest. Me, please. Yeah, long rest. After you have your breakfast, you can go to the meeting room where you met 
the boss, and she'll be waiting for a report. So, you know, I can decide who's going to give the report. I, I assume I will since not. I'm the leader. Oh, I mean, it's up to you, big guy. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, but yeah, I'm, yeah, it's I'm all. Good. And y'all gonna, yeah, yeah. I don't think y'all have had that establishment who will be the leader, but yeah, you can have that conversation now. So if y'all say, we can say you're at the uh, what dining hall, and you're having your food, and y'all probably sitting together. You can have that conversation. I mean, I feel like Sherelle really stepped up and took the lead there, especially in all that intimidating don't fuck with the Black Order stuff. Yeah, well, it comes real natural, I don't know. It's I don't know you. if I'm much for leading, though. I'm more like the point me in a direction and I'll fuck him up for you kind of person. Hmm. You're leading from the front. Yeah, so long as someone's telling me where to go. Or else I'll go my own way, and I don't know if we want to go that way. <laughs> well, how about we'll be your compass, you just be the spear? I'm good with that. So does All that right. mean I'm giving the report or not? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, uh... What do I tell her? We, we did what we were told. We, uh killed all the gods and fucked up the twins but they're alive and like message received should be and uh we brought back a whole bunch of stuff for the order like that's good right yes job well done i think she'll be very pleased cool i'm good with the words words do the talk no no this is way too entertaining i think you <laughs> should do it <laughs> oh please keep going you have that kind of confidence in Mizunari. I do. Yeah, you can totally do it. I'll take it then. Yeah. You don't have to say anything fancy. You got all the points across. You know what we did. Just say that. I'll do that. Cool. I'll kill you all when I die. <laughs> it would be an honor. <laughs> As you finish your breakfast... I'm assuming y'all head to the meeting hall. Probably yeah. get relatively the same seats you had before. So yeah, we can head back to the meeting hall, sit down. They bring out some ale if you would like to have some morning ale as you wait patiently for her to show up. I got better. Swig. Yep. Hey, big guy, let's have one. This is great. Tuna, make me a reception check. A perception? Oh, my plus one to perception. Ooh, 19. 19. As you go to sit down, you barely catch it around at the corner of your eye, the rope that you tied on this chair. So you... Do you still try to sit down? Oh, I'd see if the rope is still secure. Oh, like, uh, you actually pulling the rope? A little bit, yeah. I'm like As uh, you pull the rope, the chair crumbles down. <laughs> and I just kick it quickly under another chair and just try to like put another chair over and just like sit on top of it just um <laughs> I'm just looking at him while he's doing all of this <laughs> and I'm just like business um work and at this point, I turn into Tunak and, and give him a cheer. He's at the other end of the bar. <laughs> I'm a little unsettled. <gasps> and then I turn back into Watt. Sorcery. <laughs> nice. Um... A little bit. The chamber doors open up. She walks in. So, my lovely group here. Who wants to get the love of report? I would love some good news this morning. I stand up and sort of straighten my robes a little bit. and <clears throat> We do have good news for you, ma'am. Uh, we... 
killed the gods of the twins and we fucked up the twins they are alive and we told them not to fuck with the black order and i'm pretty sure we got that message across and we brought back a whole bunch of shit from their mansion i don't know that wasn't part of the job description but like doesn't hurt whose idea was to hang him naked in front i immediately point to tunak what also raises their effort. hand <laughs> it was a joint effort well doesn't she have a li- like doesn't she kind of like me in particular and that's why she kind of sent me towards the actual mission she's asking who whose idea was to hang her naked and now she's getting conflicted like reports between everybody um well so you know god right well he's my god he he ex- certain uh, presentations and since we couldn't kill them this seemed like a good way to you know deliver the the message we could cu- go cut them down now though if you if if that's what you oh, no 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 you misunderstand i liked it yeah it was sort of like a group effort sort of thing we all like pitched in yeah Tunox's yes. original idea, but like we all built on that. To be honest, my idea told was to get them naked, and then I forgot the rest of my idea. So yes, the whole, the whole party. The whole party. So I was in the pickle because I was going to get the person who came up the idea reward. Reward can be shared. How about this? Decide amongst you who will get the reward. I give you 30 seconds. I'm kind of scared of her, not gonna lie. So, uh. What? What's the reward? That's exactly what I'm wondering. Like, she seems pleased, but at the same time, like, you never know what people like her are thinking. Oh, stop. I, mean, the I already got a sword. I'm good. My lady, I will take the reward. She pulls out. Right. What pe- weapon would you prefer? Hmm. I love my daggers and bows. That is plural. I said, what weapon? Weapon do you prefer? Like a dagger, my lady. She pulls out this dagger. And it's got like a green hue to it. As it launches out and a chain, a magical chain, it stands out and it retracts and hands it to you. I take the chain. Thank you, my lady. But of course. Now, as promised, my exclusive seats for tonight's tournament. So take the rest of the day. Enjoy your spoils, and after tonight, you'll be sitting out to continue the mission. And the mission is to head to each town on the surface and infiltrate to find and replace the elders so we can tear the order from the inside out. With our other people like Watt here, they can take on many faces. Understand? Oh, yeah, ma'am. Absolutely. But you have to be tactically, how you say, smart about it. Not a lot of people allow the Black Order in their town. So. I get immediately uncomfortable. Uh, so take the rest of the day. Enjoy the finals tonight. And you'll be off in the morning. She closes the book. And I understand that you took money from the mansion last night as well. Yes, my lady. Mm-hmm. I have eyes everywhere. That'll be your payment and reward for taking care of it. Thank you, my lady. So now, do you have anything you would like to share? Very well, my lady. Since I'm going to be working with y'all for, well, who knows how long. I have been sort of infiltrating 
villages and towns on my own. That's when I caught the eye of the Black Order, so to speak. Um, and I am raising an army. Um, yeah, I purchase orphanages, place people that have my same ideals in charge of them, and raising, raising children with my ideals, our ideals, I should say, um, and giving them jobs once they age out so that we have a wide range of abilities and talents from bacon to soldiers to whatever else we need. Um, that's the business that I almost got, I uh, had to leave on earlier this evening, or last night, sorry. But yeah, that is what I do. So, so you're not secretly a princess. <laughs> No, just, I guess, a general, I guess, in a sense. Cool. What gives you a salute? <laughs> salute back. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes, her person that we have placed within the twins helped you gain access easier. So, that being said, be you a good day. Oh. Have you decided on a leader yet? Sort of. Apparently, I lead from the front, but I'm not sure at this stage, ma'am. Milady, if I may, just watching over this group last night, I've seen that Sherelle has a natural leading capability, and I think that she would be best to lead us from the front. I mean, I'm cool uh, with that. All right. In a quick fashion motion. Sorrel, give me a dexterity saving throw. Except when I roll a natural one. Seven. She kills me. You take one point of bludgeoning damage as this stone hits you in the shoulder and you <laughs> and catch it. Like your just instinct reflexes catch it after it hits you in the shoulder and deals you one point of damage. Technically, I can deflect missiles. Well, she wasn't like throwing you as an attack. She's just kind of throwing to you, hoping you would catch it but you fumbled the six. <laughs> so you take a point of bludgeoning damage. It was not meant to be an attack. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, ow, yep. What is it? She looks over at Roladan. I hope you're right. Uh, use this to send me reports from time to time. I had the other end. You speak into that, I receive. So you can add one Sydney stone to your inventory. Yes, ma'am. Have a good day. About well, the next report, maybe you'll have a name. Sorrel's mini minions? Hmm? Nah, nah, didn't have to quake Queen Town, huh? Ah, never mind. You'll come up with it. Have a good night. Or day. It was morning. Have a good day. And uh, enjoy the fights tonight. And she waltz back off into her door. Rest of the day is yours. What would you like to do? I like how you kept his voice while trying to tell us what would you like to do. <laughs> I, I look to the group and I say, did, did she say we have to go to every city? Yes, the guy. She did. Take a while. Indeed. Well, she said go from city to city and infiltrate or find out. I guess she hinted, I guess above the table, she hinted at uh, travel from city to city and try to find if there's any basically do your own investigation see if there's any elders of the black or not black or this is black the order of the goblet. Or the goblet and kidnap them basically is do we is the order of the goblet like a, a known like no it's like interpol uh above table i've kind of designed the order of the goblet the more like the john wick movies it's like a secret mm. organization. Mm. And that medallion that you have found is part of their currency for within the order. Knew it. Good thing I stole I it. <laughs> Did you steal it? I thought y'all gave it back to her. Yeah, you gave it back to her. I don't Did remember. we? Yeah. I do not remember. Remember you tried to put it over her neck and then Yeah, you, I think you did go oh, back. That's right. <sighs> Darn. You had a shot, but you didn't take it. Because we couldn't but, uh, find out what it was. That's true. You're left with the rest of the day. What would you like to do? So we start going towards the Coliseum. 
Yeah. I mean, that's tonight. This is morning. Got a few hours. Day drinking. <laughs> Let's go look for some fights in the bars. <laughs> go start a fight. Start your own underground fight club. Anyone want to go to a tavern? I'll go. Let's do it. Are y'all going back to the same one yet you went to? This is the Parallel Birds. Might as well. Yeah. Roll a stealth chat, Cyril. That's better. Twenty-two. Uh, who has a who has the highest passive perception? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Twelve. Eleven. Eleven. Not very perceptive bunch, are we? I'm sorry. Fourteen. Fourteen. 14. There we right. go. That's all I needed to know. As you start heading. Are you, are you, head, I'm sorry, did y'all say you're heading back to the Pale Little Birds? Yep. All right. Uh, again, across the world. Uh, who's leading the bunch? The marching order. I'm assuming we're all in. Sure. I'm, I'm following behind him. He said, big guy, let's go get a drink. I said, okay. I'll stick myself in the middle. Hot uh, sandwich. It's, it's about some point, so you look around, Sorrel's not there. What the hell? Has anybody seen Sherelle? No. Right did... not. Did she stay behind? Should we go back for her? I think she was with us when we left, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Pretty sure she was with us when we left. Who was in the back? I mean, I was closer to the back, but I don't think I was the last person. Who last saw her? I think we all did last night. I meant this morning. Right before we left. Well, right before we left, true. Ah, shit. That's not good. Mm -hmm. You know, she also knows of, like, secret ways to get through. She had us running all throughout the city yesterday. So maybe she's just trying to beat us there to get a table. When did Tunak get so smart in remembering stuff? Oh, I hit me. <laughs> <laughs> it was his god. God, <laughs> you showed me the way. <laughs> God reminded him. <laughs> uh, well, maybe she's going to meet us there. Let's go ahead and keep going. We all did agree to head to the tavern. Ah, she's probably there already. All right. As you head across town, this is as it was before. As you approach, you notice the loud atmosphere. It's a little buzzing a little before, uh, for mid-morning. Everybody's in for the early brunch. As you walk in, uh, you're going to take uh, the long bar and uh, people in for early morning brunch. Uh, there is, uh, they're serving for, bre for brunch is hard cheese and sweet sausage with a side of buttered toast. And their versions of mimosas. <laughs> Welcome in. Well, we back uh, back so soon. You had nope. to threaten my life again? Not at all. I'm too hungry for that right now. You want your back room again? Yes, please. Alrighty. Oh. Uh, so you head to the back room. Uh, you're gonna pay that. What'd you say? The twelve gold that was agreed upon last night. So twelve gold for the back room. I got it. And you're showed to the back room. Is Sherelle here? No, she is not there. Oh. Well, let's have a seat and give it a wait and see if Sherelle will pop up. Yeah, you're shown to the back room. Uh, the room you rent it out. This, uh, again, they're serving hard cheese, uh, sweet sausage, and a side of butter toast. That is your first order. You get it with the room. And your first uh, round of drink, whatever you choose, which is the mimosas, actually. Anything else after that, you're going to have to pay uh, 10 silver for the mimosas. Well, the first round of mimosas is a part of the room, but if you want to get them I again, will get the second round of mimosas. Sweet. <laughs> and y'all left to uh, talk amongst yourselves. We'll, well say Larise stay back to get her things in order. So she's not there. How long do we want to wait for Sherelle before we start looking? 
I don't know. Give it an hour. Maybe she's... Now that she's our leader, maybe the, the boss had extra training or something for her to do. Who knows? Maybe something super secret leader stuff. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's enjoy this meal and these mimosas. Sounds good to me. So at this point, we've got two mimosas in. How are we feeling? So you're going to stay there and drink all day? So get, everybody give me a round of con chats. Day drinking. Yeah, buddy. Nat 20. Also nat <laughs> What 20. is sober as hell? Well, that's 15. just the first round. 15. Uh-huh. Roll it in. I got 11. You're starting to feel it already. These, you're not used to these mimosas. They're kind of, they're kind of strange after the first couple rounds. Um, as you're sitting here uh, drinking, you also start thinking about what she said that um, this is probably the, one of the only towns, criminal towns that you can easily just walk in, especially what have you. Um, Uh, we'll cut over to Surreal. Surreal, as you're doing what you're doing, you do get a message from on the Sending Stone that you have gotten. And she says, By the way, I'm having a carriage prepared for... I noticed that a few of you will not do well in the sun. The carriage route could be completely blacked out for your travels during the day. That sounds so, amazing. Thank you. Can, can I ask, uh, we actually came across a very handsome horse while we were doing our job last night. Would we be able to have that horse draw that carriage by any chance? The carriage is so big that you have three other horses with it as well. Oh, so we get three horses on top of the black horse we got last night. But of course. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, ma'am. So most of the day goes. Um, they start serving uh, lunch, which would be steamed lamb, broccoli, and cantaloupe on the side. That is the meal for today's lunch. And they kind of move. They start uh, serving the mimosas because that's a brunch thing. And they kind of move on to the ale and beer and wine if you want to have some wine. And then there's spirits and shots, if you want those. I'll get the next round of beers. Uh, beer would be two copper pieces each. So that would be one, two, three, four. Two, four, six, eight copper pieces. And uh, if you want the meal, um, uh, it would be uh, two silver pieces for the meal. And so you know, the hours have gone by? Huh? How many hours have gone by at this point? It's probably about midday. So it's been about a couple hours you've been here. So give me another con- round of con chats. Ten. Eighteen. Seventeen. Oh, six. Six. Scenarius. Don't know what it is, Ains. And uh, Raladan, you're starting to sober up with the food. <coughs> what is feeling a little tipsy? Tunak is just like, is this even ale? <laughs> drink, drink. But it's been a few hours and Sherelle's still not coming back. At this point, while I'm sobering up, I look up and I go, wait a minute. Didn't we agree to... Give Sherelle an hour. It has been a little while, I guess. Uh, uh, Where is she? Should we head back? Mm, Seems seems reasonably a good idea at this point. All right, you good, Zanari? Oh, oh yeah, I'm I'm sweller than a pig in a bath. I am. Really good, yeah. Honest, I am. Um, yeah, should, just just should... walk with me. We'll we'll keep each other up. All right, it sounds good. Let's go. 
Or I, I make myself a taller height so that I, she can actually, <laughs> I can actually shoulder her. Sorry, as you stand up, give me a dexterity saving throw with advantage because of what? Actually, she's trying to, yeah. go ahead. So technically, she's kind of tipsy too, but not as tipsy as you. Well, that is a twelve with advantage. Twelve. Uh, Watt, you quickly realize that you're the one that got to be holding most of the weight for her. Do uh, not. Can you carry her, please? <laughs> okay. How do you carry Zanari, Tinoch? Uh, how how dead body is Zanari right now? Is she just kind of like... Is she a limp kinda, noodle? Is she a sloppy drug or is she kind of... Is she trying to make... do Pretty sloppy road? drunk. I am carrying her. She at least like hold around his neck so that he, you know, she can piggyback him? I was going to go the, the bodyguard style. Just mm. in the arms. Okay, Kevin Costner. That's right. <laughs> And then just random people who come by and kicking them. It kind of made sense because Tuna's an orc and Zanari's a half orc. Oh. Kind of made sense. That would kind of happen. Um, as, it, as it is, after you have your meal, uh, you start heading out, carrying. Where are y'all headed to? Back to the Black Border. To look for Sherelle. Headquarters. All right. Headquarters, okay. yeah. As you cross, uh, head back to the Black Order headquarters. Um, are you keeping an eye out? Give me a perception check. Who, what? Or all of us? Six. Whoever's <laughs> looking for her. Six? No sight of her. That makes sense because you're are like. Uh, roll it in. All right. Roll it in. Sonari, give me a con check for disadvantage. Okay. I got a 14. 14. That's 12. 12. Oddly enough, you kind of... You start to feel yourself drifting in the massive bicep of, you know, to knock. And you start to draw and you go... <laughs> You keep yourself posted as you're being carried. And roll it in. You do not appear to see her at all. You do obviously dedicate the same back alley deals that you see. Could be drug deals. It could be other kind of deals. But given your uh, background, they do are doing uh, signs and stuff. And the noises is what you know be thieves can't. You do not see Sorrel anywhere. Still no sign, huh? Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going towards the uh towards the um the order. Got it. Sorrel, let's get about that time where you headed to. It's like evening. I mean it's in the afternoon, but it's getting about that time where the fights and stuff are happening starting up or preparing yeah I got all my business in order done what I needed to do um guess I'll just head straight down or up I don't to know. where though where are you headed the arena got it alright uh you guys are Head back to the headquarters, and you do not find Sorrel anywhere. Is there a guard that I can ask if they saw her leave? But of course, you as you ask, they'd be like, she left with you guys. Well, you're not helpful. Well, I didn't see her come back. I thought she was still with you guys. <sighs> well, if she's late for the show, she's late for the show. Let's just go without her. We can tell her all about it tomorrow. Sounds good to me. Let's, uh, That's already down the street. <laughs> yeah. Tottering off down the street. Do not. You good to carry her the rest of the way? Of course. Of course. Of course. You good, Z? 64 bottles of sting on the wall. 70. Wait. 64 bottles of sting. 
<laughs> Let's get more. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Um. Uh, uh, you do briefly see Larice, and she just explains, I will not be attending tonight. I got to get all my materials and stuff I need for my rituals and stuff that we might need for the boat. AKA NPC mode. All right. And y'all head to the Coliseum. Eventually you get to the special, like the, it's kind of like a sky bots type deal, but your own little section. And you arrive and you see Sorrel sitting there. About time you got here. Oh, hey guys, I was waiting for you. You didn't meet us at the bar. There. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I had some uh, stuff I needed to get done. You know, we're going to be away for a while with this new assignment. We're leaving right after this, if I understood correctly. So just had to get some stuff in order. See, well, I told you she was doing boss stuff. I I vouched for you. The least a leader can do is communicate with the rest of her crew where she's going beforehand. Oh. Mm. It's, sorry. Didn't cross my mind. I just walked off to do my thing. Didn't think to tell anyone about it. My bad. It's all right. It's just good to know where we all are. No, for safety reasons. Well, I didn't leave the city and I didn't go near the slave district, so, you know, it's all good. In, in my mind, I'm going, man, did I make the wrong, wrong choice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you also yeah. see two not carrying Zanari and Zanari. I just don't even you, comment on that. You're behind on drinking. <laughs> yeah, no, I... <laughs> I'm never behind on drinking, and I take another swig for my flask. Sure. Clever. Give me a con save with advantage, Sheriff Sherelle. Me? Sure. I'm trying to remember how your flask works. 16. In the flask is just um wine. It's not anything special. I get that, but uh, it, it's like you're always tipsy, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is Sherelle... Wait. Is Sherelle an alcoholic? <laughs> you gonna take her to AA? That you, that's uh, where you that, went. Uh, to not mentioning that, uh, your pet uh, roll of dance. Oh passing. no, that that was me. That was me oh. asking. Yeah, that that was Ender. <laughs> As, okay, I'll do this. As Sherelle, uh says that and takes a swig. Roll of dance. What's your passive intelligence? My passive intelligence is sixteen. Or, or, or I guess you'd be your passive insight. I guess. Uh, it's 12. You notice that she does that a lot with her flask. A lot. Sherelle's a bit of a drinker, huh? Oh boy. I did make the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> I looked Nobody at Zanari. asked. Should, should we drink more? Normally drinks are reserved for victories in battle and... We had a we, victory. We've we been did. over this. We've been drinking all day. Never say no to another drink. That's my motto. Okay, fine. Pass one on. I pass you my flask. More drinking. Ooh, and... delicious. Oh my, someone's gonna have to stay sober around these guys. <laughs> and as you say that, roll it in, they come in. How are you this evening? Welcome for the fights. Uh, she said you would be joining here in her personal location. And as a reward... Free trades all night. And she just Yay. serves out. Uh, yeah, she serves. You have an endless supply of like the fancy wines that you could ever have. Bottomless mimosas. At this point, I'm trying to think in my mind and go. I'm just looking at every single person and I'm going, how many do I remember of each of them having right now? <laughs> so I can make sure that they're not all fucked up. Sonari's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Outside, at some sorry. point, <laughs> outside of Zanari. Zanari. at <laughs> some point during the I'm evening, you look over. How coherent each of them will be. At some point during the evening, you look over, and Sherelle is just pouring wine out of the flask into Zanari's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> More. Never say stop. Oh. <laughs> I. 
I'm looking at the glass and like, uh, Rala, Dad. Yes, big guy. This is also alcohol. This is very much so. It smells funny. <laughs> Trust me, it'll feel funny as well once you get done drinking it. Is this like rich people alcohol? Uh, yes. So take advantage of it while you can. Are we rich people now? Definitely not, big guy. Aha! And I doubt it. <laughs> and for me, I just start kind of dialing it back as far as the drinking goes, just so that I can make sure to watch over all of them. So they don't <laughs> do anything to fuck the night up. As you pour into Zanari, Zanari, give me a con check with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's drinking, give me another poisoning. con. <laughs> Uh, everybody is drinking. Give me another con save with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Good job. Fourteen. Well, my that's with disadvantage. Yes, I got a twelve and a fourteen. Okay, you're starting to sober up, even though, despite what is coming it's out of it's not very strong. Apparently not, <laughs> compared to what you've been drinking. Uh, two knock. What'd you get? Eleven. Eleven. You're starting to feel tipsy now with this wine, fancy wine. is a little bit stronger than from the tavern. What would you get? A 13. 13. Okay. You're maintaining your tipsiness. You're not quite across the threshold. Just dancing in her seat. Ready for the show. I have any of the, are there like prelims to this? Yeah, I was getting to that. Oh, okay. See how intoxicated you were for it. You want to know what Sherelle, the alcoholic, got? <laughs> what? Four. She is. She's it's one not of that strong until you have like three pints of it. I'll I'll uh, I'll let you uh, role play as you see fit, but she, you everybody can definitely see that Sherelle is uh, one of those that has um, what do they call like a working alcoholic high functioning fun alcoholic high functioning alcoholic but she is really starting to like show the wobble in her seat we're having a good time now <laughs> welcome ladies and gentlemen to back to the arena tonight in our main event we have the finals for the contest we have our man craven and then Nor Stonehand, who came out of retirement, the final battle is upon us tonight. For for right now, enjoy the preliminaries. We have a nice battle royal between two adventuring groups and another tribe of. What'd you say there? Duvigar, the Duvigar coming in, and uh, there's a big battle, slashing, fighting. People going, yeah. And um, cheering and so forth, so forth, and then eventually, if y'all keep drinking, way into it, huh? I'm getting way into it. He's probably I'm feeling like, it, probably the missing. Yeah. I'm like slamming like the, the balcony, spilling drink. I'm like pointing to the crowd, like high fiving someone if I can reach down at some point. I'm that. I am Jason Kelsey at a football game <laughs> right now. Jeez. <laughs> Are you still holding Zanari? <laughs> I imagine Zanari's like asleep under a bleacher somewhere. <laughs> no, she's not asleep. She got a 16. She or oh, 13. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She's like kind yes. of pulling out of it, but then she realizes that she was like carried the whole way. I don't know if she had any issues with it. Probably a bit more issue about drooling on the guy carrying her, but other no, than you that, didn't drool. You saved from drooling. Oh, I, I almost drooled. I was, I was yeah, very yeah. close to an embarrassment. So it's probably yeah. what she was more focused on. Got it. And eventually, the last battle comes out, and they bring out uh, Craven. Uh, has white hair that fades into red. Uh, he has a little bit more whiter, light skin. His eyes are full black. Um. 
as he comes out, he's announced and everybody goes, ah! the current champion, uh, Dendora Stonehand comes out. He is a Minotaur. His whole left hand up is solid stone and it crackles throughout the arena when he, just, when he moves it. And the and it starts and it gets crazy. Uh, is anybody trying to detect anything? You're trying to read lips? Nobody has that feat, do they? Where you can read lips? No. Uh, but Jarell to... is like leaning over the rail and like, I bet I could take that guy. I bet I could take both those guys. They don't look like that much. I could take them. And, and as, I'm, as like, I'm like, shoot, I'm like, angry. like, yeah, fuck yeah, this is great. Who are you rooting for? Uh, I'm actually, rooting for actually, I meant to do this and I totally forgot, and it just reminds oh. me. Right before the final bell, the people start coming around, taking bets, taking bets. Uh, you have an opportunity to bid on who you think will win. The Doran Storm hand ends a Minotaur with a stone hand, and the current champion is uh, Craven, which is a monk, Asimar, and uh, the Radiant Soul Asimar, which can uh, send out a uh, the Radiant Consumption. There we go. That's what it is. So who are you taking bets on? The massive Minotaur with a stone hand that came out of retirement. And the current champion has been a champion for a while. I bet on myself. I could take them both on. I'm drunk. No. Nah. <laughs> so uh, I'll, Go ahead. I'll go ahead. What? Oh, I'll put 10 gold uh, down on the Minotaur. 10 gold down I for like the Minotaur. That, that. I am... I, I admire the current champion. He was the one that I always saw out there, and I wish I was down there with him now. I bet I just grab a, a fistful of coins and put them on his tray. I don't know what he's using for taking a bet. He's He's got, like, the bads, and he's writing down a notepad. So he counted out, how much did you put down? You're, you... <laughs> I don't know how much you have in your bag. Eight gold pieces. <laughs> That's it? He said a bunch. I... I just reached in and grabbed a random, and I just threw them down. Times it by like 10 or something. 80 <laughs> gold pieces it is. <laughs> I pictured a lot more than just eight. 80 it is then. 80, I just. You, you could do whatever. I'm just saying times it by like a number or something. There you go. 80. 80? I like it. 80. 80. But I don't well, know the number 80. Anybody I else? Just, anybody else? Put a I'll put 50 it. on the, the veteran. 50 on Craven. Or the one out of retirement. Which one? Retirement. The veteran. Okay. So, Dendor and Stonehand, confirm. Got it. Uh, you, the one that wishes she could be down there. I will be down there, and I will... She, like, face plants. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, uh... Yeah, um, yeah, you waving at me. <laughs> you don't know yeah. your name. Hi. Um, I think I will try and put down, say, 15 gold on uh, Craven. I'll do that. 15 oh, gold on Craven. <laughs> high five back. And as the contest takes off, they circle around for a little bit. There's heated exchanges. It's like it's like a very anticipated match has been going on through this tournament. Everybody kind of predicted it, uh, and uh, everybody that sees is, looks over and sees looks at Tunak. Hey, you were supposed to be in this tournament. What happened? They said you pulled you. Fuck off! Watch the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Craven! Craven! Yeah, so it's like the arena is like half Craven, half the stone in, and uh, it's just like, uh, oh, no, Shrill face planted, so she's passed out, I guess, for this fight. I'm actually wondering 
<laughs> While everyone's distracted, I want her to, like, go between the bars or, like, over the edge or whatever this yeah, box is just... made of. Mm -hmm. And potter her way down while the fight is on, and when it's about to end, she'll, like, crash the field and be like, I can take on both of yous! And then oh, face plant again. You're not going to be able to do that, by the Aww. way. <laughs> uh, if you watch the first few episodes, of there's, there's a force field <laughs> to keep everybody protected from like spells and stuff from the competitors. And, cause mm -hmm. most then I'll of just them be are... banging on the force field like, let me in! I can take them both! I am a fighter! <laughs> then at some point, face plant. But as you're doing that, you can see the swift motions of the tripping, the uh, jabs, the fast, like Craven's super fast. She's kind of doing circles around them. But at oh, some shit. point, he's uh, good. Uh, as maybe later, then Doran Stonehand grabs him by the by the neck, and then you see Craven unleash this radiant consumption out within the mates. Then Dorian Stonehead release, grab his axe as he comes down across um, Craven underneath uppercuts. And then, as it is, this dirty fight comes up under and gives a low blow. And he goes <laughs> right in the nuts. And he's like, rrr, rrr. And good then turns, it. Good it. And then, at some point, somewhere, uh, Dendoran Stonehand grabs some sand and throws in the eyes of Craven. And then turns around, grabs Craven's face with the stone, shoves it up against the pillar. And as she shoves it against the pillar, the spikes go into the back. Oh. Um, as y'all watching this, he says audible around, and it kind of echoes through the arena. He tells uh, the store in hand is like, if you kill me now, I've become more powerful than you ever will believe. And he takes Craven's head, shoves it against the pillar. The spike goes down through the back and this radiant consumption fills the whole arena as it explodes. And the storm is all that's left. It's a few shards of the robes of Craven. And what's left is the Stone Stonehand sitting there, just kind of like, he just lifts up and goes, <laughs> and a monster shock in Pillar. The champion has been beaten. Oh. Damn. Stone Stoner! Stoner! I'll pour for one out for the homie. <laughs> so everybody that betted on Stonehand, you get your money back doubled. Oh. Actually, it's tripled because the odds were more for Craven. Oh, good fight. Where did he go, though? He as gone. You look, as you're looking down, as the dust settles, you see a searing mark against the pillar that was there. And as you're looking down, eventually the pillar falls over. On to stern hand. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> now stern hand just kind of sits to the side and lets it fall. While still looking out, I go, damn. Hey, Sherelle, do you think you can learn how to punch like that? Sherelle. <laughs> oh, where ah. did she go now? As you look down, it's like, I'm on! <laughs> I can still take you, Stone Fist! Oh, I can fuck. shatter that thing! Alright, who's gonna go get her this time? Not it, not it. Well, considering uh, that she can walk by herself, it seems, I'll go get her. You go down. I drink more. Surreal. Oh, how you, uh, give me an athletics check. 
Or acrobatics, your choice. I'll do acrobatics. And you can make a contested acrobatics there, Sorrel. Nice. 24. Ooh. Seven. You, should, it, you should roll that with disadvantage, Sorrel, because you've been drinking a lot. Uh, 17. 17 again? <laughs> uh, no, I got 22. 17 is lower. Oh, 17. Okay. Uh, you roll it in. How you do this? I you can know. take I... you. How high am I from her? How tall are you, Sorrel? Pretty short, like five six. No, no, no. I'm like, where am I at in in like relation to where she's at currently? Like, I'd she's like to. All, like, she's all the way down where the force field is to the dome. She's all the way down. It's it's just like a coliseum, like ancient times. So you come all the way down. She's all the way down there, like where if she if she was able to jump over, she would be on the field. Got it. So. So wherever I'm at in relation, I'm going to just start kind of jumping down uh, and kind of doing kind of like the whole parkour grabbing and then just letting go and grabbing the next set until I get all the way down. Assassin's and Creed's then, uh, as, as soon as I get down there, uh, I, I plop right behind her and I'm like, come on, big girl. We got to get going. Huh? What? I'm telling you, Raladan, I can take them both. Like, the other one's gone and poofed into nothing, but the other one, he's mine. I know you can, but save that for me. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I'm not as, you know, strong as holding her, but I go, let's go, boss lady. If you do start dragging me, I don't fight. I'm just like, I can take him. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like a little kid that's sitting here. Yeah, basically. Not going. not putting any actual strength into it, just like throwing a tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> so I just start walking her back up. Yeah, you bring her back up and she's throwing a tantrum to everybody else. I'm uh -huh. telling you, you can make good coin off me because they don't think a little girl could take on big muscle stone man. Oh, yes, you go, girl. You'll get them. Rallo dead. Rallo dead. Rallo dead. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. All right. So at this point, is that the last fight of the night? That was the last fight, and everybody's starting to pour out. Well, All right. We will toddle our way back to headquarters. All right. I agree with what. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we're gonna have a carriage. I'm holding two wine glasses, goblets, whatever they gave us though, as we're coming back. Oh, I like goblets. Yeah, you have so much yeah. of goblets, and you keep drinking too. Not give me another uh, con save with disadvantage. Seventeen. Jesus, <laughs> freaking. Looks like we're, we're we're pretty good drinkers here. <laughs> uh, what is your passive perception roll, Dan? Uh, passive perception is fourteen. Fourteen. As uh, two knots over, here, just like drinking a sword, you catch something like a red glowing or something in his bag, and it flat the black thoughts back over it. Uh. Tunak, what was that glow coming from you just now? Um, well, I've heard, but sometimes when my people drink, sometimes they are warmed up, they say. They get so warm that it, it flushes the skin to make it look red. And we say it is the blood of our enemies trying to resurface. Are you sure that was the blood of your enemies that was surfacing up from down there? From that where? <laughs> where your bag is at. Like, I hope I didn't see what I think I saw. <laughs> All right, we'll reach the cover. Am I, am I poking out right now? I hope not. <laughs> I was talking about, like, an actual bag. <laughs> Carrying bag. Mm. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you're saying it, 
Well, in the bag. In the bag. There was uh, something wrong. Uh, I pull out more rope. <laughs> pull out a tinderbox. Uh, you, me, uh, and I pull out this, like, box that's red and black. And you, do you mean this? Yes. It's like ornately designed like for what i have it is way fancier than anything that i should have mm. it's black and red and different parts of it kind of click and shift here hmm seems like an intelligent item but what is it anybody who's religion uh proficient in religion or history can make a roll nah, that wasn't supposed to be a disadvantage but that was a nine you're the only one 13 13 13, um, you swear, but you're not 100% 100% sure. You swear that really looks like an infernal box. It seems really familiar. Mm, maybe I'll take a look at it later if you don't mind, big guy. It is mine. Do you promise you'll give it back? Of course. Well, if you know how to open it, that'd be great. I've been spending a lot of time clicking and twisting and punching um but it will not open uh, i think it opens i'll give it a shot big guy how okay. do you know it opens if it you know doesn't open and i quickly just look at her i go it opens but how do you know oh just trust me i it looks very familiar and i think i'm pretty sure it opens you're not. Uh, roll me just that st st sturdy saving throw. Can I see the effect of it or or like where it's coming from or no? Well, it's coming from the box. You can see it. Okay. I just because I have advantage on dexterity saves, I can see. Okay. Yeah, you can have advantage on this. All right. Oh, it doesn't. I plus zero. Oh, there's the there's the low roll. Eight. Oh, my goodness. Eight. Uh, you've been drinking, so and as you're trying to show him and you're pushing stuff, uh, the bot's gonna <laughs> lots even more, and it drops down to the ground. And you're not expecting, and it drops down to the ground. Ah, uh, uh, I set the drinks down. And I pick it up with both hands again. Just <clears throat> oh, to knock. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Shall we go? Okay. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, ladies and gents, should we go? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, carriage. We're getting a carriage and you can like black out the windows and we're getting horses. It'll be freaking sweet. Cool. So we head down to the carriage? That's yeah, are it. we like touching base or... Oh, he's supposed to leave immediately. Uh, you said you were leaving in the morning, and she instructed you to leave in the morning. But... Oh, okay. I thought we were leaving tonight. All good. So we no, no, you were watching the all. fights tonight, and then you leave first thing in the morning. I see. Yep. Yeah. As you head back down to the headquarters, any last-minute things before y'all settle in for the night, or what? Hey, big guy. Do you mind if I borrow that uh, box of yours for the night? I'm pretty sure I'll be up earlier than everyone else. I'd like to give it a shot. I, I'm trusting you. You will give this back to me. Oh, yeah, for sure. I do have to give you a warning. When I first got it, and I spent some time trying to open it, at one point, it just, I felt like I was being punched in my head. Not someone punched my head, but like a fist punched from my head outwards with so mm. much pain that I passed out and woke up the next day sprawled out. Intriguing. Okay. I I'll only say that because I tried it again the second day and it happened again. I don't know if that's a sign or what, but if I spend too much time trying to figure out this box thing, I get punched in the brain and I fall asleep. Understood. So be careful. 
Okay. What languages do you read, Roladan? I read uh, Common, Dwarvish, Orc, and Thieves' Camp. Okay. This has a bunch of language written on the side. And I wouldn't know. Do not know what it says. Still intelligent enough to try to sit there and mess with it. Okay. Uh, so real. We'll come back to that. <laughs> uh, Sorrel, Watt, and Zanari, what are y'all doing? Y'all just heading straight to bed, or what are y'all doing? Yeah, just heading straight to bed. Got nothing else to do. Might as well sleep this off and drink off the hangover in the morning. Zanari. Yep, nope, that's uh, what I'm going to do. I might go to the front and just... Um, were there any uh, messages left for me uh, after today? Nothing today. Maybe in the morning. Right. Maybe. Have a good one. And then I'll go and go lay down. Tunak, are you going straight to bed after that? I linger to look at Raladan and I go... Bah. And I saunter off. <laughs> good night, big guy. Uh, good luck. I'm off to my room. Okay. Dan, what are you doing? I'm going to take my short rest, and as I wake up, I'm going to try to figure this thing out. Taking a short rest, or you're going to take a long rest? You wait until morning to do it. Uh, I'm going to take a short rest. Remember, I only need a short rest. Oh, you mean trance? Uh, yeah. Trancing for you is pretty much a long four, rest. So four, you can go yeah. ahead and take a long rest. You're going to wait four hours, and then. So you're going to mess with the bots? Oh, yeah. All right. Um. Give me an investigation check. Oh. No. Well. All right. Uh, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so. I'm getting well, punched in the head. <laughs> well, as you're sitting here doing it, you figure it out. You can't read the wording on the side. So it's kind of struggling. So that's kind of messing with you, too. You start realizing you can maneuver and do this, and you kind of feel like it's some sort of puzzle. And as you're clicking, and all of a sudden, like it moved on its own like it wasn't supposed to, and you feel the shockwave move up your arms, through your head. And as you try to save from it, you was not prepared for it, and you take 50 points of psychic damage. <laughs> Oh my god. How much hit points do you have? I have 40. <laughs> All right. And you're in your room by yourself. Does it make a noise or anything? He, he makes a bang across the. And actually, no, he doesn't throw him. He just kind of drops back. He makes a little bang against the wall as he does this. I wouldn't notice it. My passive is 11. You're so lucky one of these are a natural 20. Roll it in. You come back with one hit point on one of your death saves. As you come back, you got blood trickling out of your nose. And that's where we'll end this episode. I was going I wasn't I was going to wait for your death saves for till June. I was like, no, it'd be too cruel. So, I... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll pick up, we'll pick up there after you come back with blood running out on your nose, out of your eyes with one hit point, looking at this bot showing ch -ch 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 back on the floor where it had landed. With that being said, thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Thank you guys for pushing through. I wanted to get to a nice little cliffhanger. To an even bigger cliffhanger than I thought was going to happen. So, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, thank you, uh, Nerd Hollow, for hanging in there. Any last words? Parting words? 
Let chaos reign! Let chaos reign. That might be the title of the next episode. <laughs> or this episode. Uh, roll it in. When are you going to post? Uh, I'm going to give me a couple days. I'll probably post here by, by Wednesday. Uh, and as I said before at the beginning of the video, there's subscriber goals for YouTube. So the more subscribers you get, the more of those goals that we hit, the gradually we build. And if we get to 1,000 uh, subscribers eventually, uh, Nerd Holla here is going to paint the 75 millimeter versions of everybody's characters and do it as a giveaway. So make Ooh. sure you get those subscribers going. And you have plenty of time from now to the next episode. Every how many likes this uh, video gets. That's what they'll get for rewards. So thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us tonight. Uh, as again, uh, we'll be starting our long break. I might do a marathon at some point if I can figure out a way, if I get a good enough computer to do it for like Twitch or something, like a marathon for one of the campaigns, probably a Vernus or something. But other than that, thank you guys for hanging out. We love you very much and have a wonderful night.